Well, how's it going, Mosaic? This is Adam here in Dearborn, and uh, I just had some devotional thoughts I wanted to, to share with you uh, today. Uh, I've been I've been learning a lot about now that it's springtime a lot about just taking care of our yard and weeding and stuff One of the things that when we lived overseas that we really really looked forward to was having our own yard And we did for a little while uh, But it's not like having your own place in your own space and and you're in charge of being able to put things where they are uh, But part of that has just been taking care of our yard and a lot of this right now is being able to take care of those weeds that are in our yard now maybe you guys see a yard as a hassle I see it as more of a blessing because I love being able to get outside and do things in the yard but one thing you have to do is take care of of those weeds now it, it seems to me the last uh, last week or so the Lord has been bringing me bringing to me this idea that weeds are like sin and we have to take care of things uh, similar to weeds now a couple lessons I've learned um, just in the last few years is that when you see those weeds show up that is the best time to take care of them because they grow so quickly. And I think it's true with sin in our lives. Like when we first see an ounce of sin enter in, we've got to take care of it immediately because it spreads so quickly and it will very easily destroy our lives. Just like these weeds will very easily destroy um, our, our lawns and, and uh, our things. And so I, I just challenge you this morning, find the weeds that are in your life. Find the weeds that are in your heart and find them quickly. And when the Lord reveals those things to you, you need to take care of them immediately. Now, one of the other things I'm learning about weeds is that when you take one out, right? When you take one out, when you when you take out some of that crabgrass, you take out some of those dandelions, you've got to fill it back in with something healthy really quickly. Otherwise, another weed is going to step right back in. And so even it's true within our own lives, when, when the Lord comes through and takes something out of our hearts and out of our lives that's really unhealthy we got to fill it in with something else otherwise it's just, it's just going to be filled in with something unhealthy again so maybe the Lord's asking you to uh, to take out some of the weeds in your heart some of the sin that's in your heart make sure you fill it in with something healthy immediately I have some more thoughts later on about the weeds and sin uh, but take some time today just to reflect on what are the weeds that are growing in my heart and what does the Lord want to do to take them out and what does the Lord want to replace them with? Okay, so let's pray. God, I thank you so much that you reveal to us the things that you want to pick out, that you want to take away. And I thank you, God, that you also have a plan to replace that with something that is good and healthy. I ask God that you would do that in my heart and the heart of those who are tuning in today. May we just be a beautiful, beautiful creation and creature uh, that reflects your glory. And it's in your name we pray, in the name of Jesus, amen.